Hi guys and welcome back again to the Tactic YouTube channel. In front of us stands the brand new Logitech G303 Daedalus Apex gaming mouse and today we are going to take a closer look at it. This model is so to speak an upgraded spin-off of its predecessor which is still ongoing, the G302 Daedalus Prime and in comparison to it it offers some minor improvements. The main goal here was to improve the original concept in a way that it will appeal to players who are more into FPS games and need that extra speed and accuracy while the G302 is still more MOBA games oriented. On the box itself you can see a picture of the mouse and going around it you will find some technical specifications in regards of the G303 in multiple languages, some brief features overview and another picture of the partially transparent G303 with an inside look on its components. Opening up the box, beside the user manual you won't get anything else except the mouse itself of course. And here it is, the G303 Daedalus Apex. Taking a closer look at the design of the mouse, the G303 is actually completely the same as the G302. All of the physical shape of it is symmetrical, the mouse isn't ambidextrous because of the two thumb switches for the right handers which you will find on the left side of the mouse. Since we touched the subject of buttons, the rest of the bunch consists out of left and right mouse click of course, dedicated DPI switch button behind the scroll wheel and the scroll wheel's middle click. Speaking of scroll wheel, we really loved it since it reminded us a lot of the Logitech G9 series with very distinct shifts when scrolling slowly and overall much firmer feedback than your usual mice. One obvious change which you'll probably notice right away in comparison to the G302, the G303 has a fully braided cable. That's not the only nor the most important change as that one lies beneath the mouse and that's the new 12000 dpi optical sensor. Except the new sensor, on the bottom you will find more Teflon feet compared to the G302 for better stability and easier sliding on the surface, which in the end results in better overall precision. As for the in-game and Windows performance, we were very pleased with it, especially in comparison to our G9 and G602. Size-wise, the G303 was really comfortable to use. Just like the G9, it's a bit low on the overall height, especially when you put it side by side with the G602, though it would be just a bit better if it had wider backend. Before we could use it, we needed to upgrade the G303 to the newest firmware and after that we were granted access to all the software goodies which came along with it. In there you can of course control stuff like mouse sensitivity, pulling rate, reassigning each buttons to your likings and different macros, lighting settings, recording and monitoring your usage behavior and so on. Just like the G302, the G303 also has low insides and Logitech gaming logo on the back and those can be easily adjusted into 16.8 million different RGB colors using the Logitech gaming software, unlike the G302 with its only one glowing color, the Logitech's blue-greenish. Thank you once again guys for checking out our unboxing and review of the Logitech G303 Daedalus Apex gaming mouse. Feel free to give us a thumbs up if you like this video, leave a comment down below if you have any questions about the product and of course if you would like to see more content like this you can subscribe to our Tactic YouTube channel or you can check out our other videos from before.